I have to give a little background as to why I'm doing this. Uh, this trip is basically in honor of my father. Uh, my father's real name is Marco Polo. And this was his greatest dream to come here and walk the wall. Unfortunately, that dream never came to be. So I'm here to do a little dedication for him on his behalf. I call this an ode to my father, the real Marco Polo. Marco Polo was born in Italy in the year 12. 54. My father was born in Newark to parents who were poor. Marco Polo went to China with his uncles he toured. My father went to Weartown with his family he adored. Marco Polo was an explorer who traveled far. My father took us everywhere that one could go by car. Marco Polo went to China and walked the Great Wall. My father worked hard and gave it his all. Stubborn is a trait that they both did share. They both had persistence, a trait that is rare. Marco Polo traveled to Asia along with his peers. My father loved fishing throughout most of his years. Fishing and crabbing was how he had fun. He captained his own boat when it would run. Marco Polo was a merchant of Italian descent. My father was Italian and became a flooring merchant. He'd always lend a hand, no matter the chore, from helping you move to installing your floor. Marco Polo brought back pasta from Asia, they say. My father would eat pasta on any given day. Marco Polo traveled along the famous Silk Route, my father had a boat that often, I'm sorry, my father had, uh, Marco Polo traveled along the famous Silk Road, my father had a boat that often got towed. Chuck. Marco Polo discovered paper money, and trade was never the same. My father earned money in spite of his name. Marco Polo rewrote history as we know it today. My father enjoyed life with each passing day. Marco Polo had a mission to make Italian trade rate. My father was Italian. In my eyes, he was great. Marco Polo had three children right in a row. My father had three children. Well, what do you know? Marco Polo discovered Chinese art. Spontaneous, you know. My father was artistic, a real Picasso. Marco Polo sold silk. The trade kept on giving. My father sold carpets and installed them for a living. My father, Marco Polo, was true to his name. He took us to many places, but didn't do it for fame. We spent time together. I'm happy, not sad. Not that he left me, but the bonding we had. My father's greatest wish was to walk this great wall. The trip of a lifetime, he would have given it his all. He never made it to China, much to his dismay. We were supposed to go together on my 44th birthday. But it was not to be that he see this magnificent sight. He died of cancer after a really hard fight. He faced death courageously and feisty to the end. Now Jesus can be happy. He's got a new friend. So I honor him today. I'm happy, not sad, to have made this trip to honor my dad. With all love and respect, your son, Rick. All right. <laughs> All right, thank, thank you. you. Oh, that was great. I can turn it off. Very nice.